Praise the Lord, brethren. God is good for the opportunity that he gives us. His mercies are new every morning. Let us pray. Father God in heaven, thank you for this opportunity to interact with you, O Lord, and the episodes of finding God because you are life. You are our light. And then if we pray the Lord, you bless us every time that we engage with your word to bless us and to bless other people that listen to what we say, that see what we do, and the examples that we exhibit to them. We pray the Lord you bless us now as we engage with you and with the people in the Bible, the examples that we pick in the name of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Brethren, God gives us an opportunity all the time. In the Finding God series, we've been talking about biblical personalities that impact our lives. So far, I've shared about a number of them. I've shared about Abraham, I've shared about Isaac, I've shared about Joseph and the others. And I found that we need also to share about the women of impact in the Bible. We have women that have impacted uh, others in their life, in their interactions. We have so many women in the Bible that have done greatly. But also we have so many women in the Bible that have done worse things, including the men, of course. And, but we are not going to take the bad examples of the women that have impacted others negatively, like Jezebel, like um, others, like you know, those that did harmful things. But I just want us to pick a few of them and share about them. And particularly, there are those that are in obscurity, but they speak a lot. And for our episodes, I want to share about Miriam, one of the women in the Bible and a sister to Moses, whose life we have shared about already. And I also want to share about Hannah, the woman that is a mother, a prayerful mother, and the impact that she has on the women in the Bible and in our generation. Another person will be uh, Esther, the person that is in political arena, they are in public influence. And so we shall be talking about Miriam this time round. But before I bring about Miriam, there are women that I just want to mention that they are very, very great women in the Bible. Of course, we begin with Eve. Eve, the, the, first, the first woman and the mother of all humanity. And she impacts us a lot. We also have the woman Sarah. Sarah, we read about Sarah, the mother of the Jewish nation. She also impacts women because she exhibits faith and she exhibits patience. Of course, uh, there are lessons I pick from Sarah. We also have the women like Rachel, they are Jacob's wife. We have, I uh, mean, um, um, Jacob's wife. We have Leah, another one, Jacob's wife. We have Jochebed, Jochebed, the mother of Moses, the woman that did a lot, a mother. We have that Jochebed woman, the mother of Moses, and Miriam, and Aaron. We also have uh, Rahab. There is a woman who was a prostitute and she played a very big role in the salvation of the Israelites as they were sojourning, as they were moving on to the promised land. We have, the, we have Deborah. Deborah was the judge who led God's people, a woman of influence in society. We also have Ruth. Ruth, a Moabite, a nanny Jew, but a woman of influence in society. She was a virtuous woman. And we read a lot about Ruth in the Bible. We also have Hannah, Hannah, the woman of prayer, patience, and we shall pick lots of lessons from Hannah, the mother, and the woman in the home. We also, we also have Esther. I've already mentioned about her. She is an influential queen, and we shall pick some lessons from this in, our, in, in this woman as we do our finding God. And we also have the New Testament figures like Mary, Elizabeth, Martha, I mean, the very men, the list is endless. And these women were great women who impacted their societies. But of course, you know, their society was male dominated. But when they come out to exhibit faith, when they come out to exhibit uh, something that society can learn from, mothers, women are great people because we are because of them. And so, friends, God desires that we pick 
lessons from these biblical figures, the biblical figures that impacted our society. And of course, we are living in a society this, during this time. And we need to pick lessons. We need to learn how these women impacted their societies so that the mothers of today, so that the women of today, so that the girls in the home can also pick something and they impact their societies. They impact us, all of us, because they're mothers. And the mothers impact so much. And so picking some um, lessons from these women is something that we desire very much. And so the woman at this time that I just desire to mention is Miriam. She's a woman who is not very, very, very much pronounced, but she was a young lady. And Miriam was Moses' sister. She was actually the, the elder sister because um, the, we, the Bible talks about the Levite family uh, of, um, um, of, of Moses and where he was born. And time comes, there was a decree in Egypt where uh, Pharaoh pronounced that all baby boys must be killed. And of course, I can read Exodus story, chapters 1 and 2. And time comes, baby Moses is born. And it is at a time when that decree was in force. Now the family struggled. But we single out two women. Two women and these women were Moses' mother and Moses' sister. And in chapter 2, time comes when Moses is born and he is, he, the family desire that he not be killed like other baby, baby boys. And in chapter 2 verse, verse 3, the Bible says that, but when the mother could not hide Moses anymore. She got him a wicker basket and covered it with over with tar and pitch. Then she put the child into, the, into it and set it among the reeds by the bank of the river Nile. Can you imagine a mother struggling to save her baby? A mother struggling to save her son. And now, in verse 4, the Bible says that his sister, and his sister is Miriam. Miriam stood at a distance to find out what could happen to him. You know, why Miriam moves my heart is because of what she did. She kept at a distance watching to see what would happen to her brother, caring for her brother. It was a little act of, you know, of selflessness. And Miriam portrays a lot for us. And it is at this time that Pharaoh's daughter comes to the Nile to bathe with her maidens walking alongside the river Nile. And she saw the basket. And this is when she announces, I mean, she, look, she looks at the, the basket, the baby is crying inside. Then Miriam tells Pharaoh's daughter that I go and call a nurse for you. And the nurse that Miriam runs to go and pick is their own mother. And the mother is mentioned elsewhere. She's called Jochebed. Now, this lady comes and becomes a nurse for a moment. And then Moses is, grows up in the palace because this uh, Pharaoh's daughter picked her, picked him, and took him into the palace, and he grew up there. Now, my brothers and sisters, this lady, the one that I've picked now, Miriam, Miriam exhibited, you know, she was involved directly in the salvation history of the Jews because her act, of course, actually, we are not talking so much about the mother, but the mother played her part, and Miriam played her part. And she saved, she participated in the salvation story of the Jews. And so her seeing Pharaoh's daughter and her, you know, suggesting to Pharaoh's daughter that I go and call a nurse to me to take care of this boy. And indeed, Miriam runs and picks the mother and brings him, brings her to Pharaoh's daughter and mothers grows up. And this is when the Israelites are saved. Possibly, maybe the story couldn't have been complete without Miriam. But Miriam participates in this salvation story. And so, at the time Miriam was doing this, she never realized that the impact of her actions would be so enormous. But later, more Miriam participated in the salvation of the Jewish nation. A big sister who participated in the salvation of her people and she watched over her brother. And this is a huge, huge lesson to us. It's an appeal to, you know, those who are elderly, those who are older, 
to take care of those that are younger. You know, at a time when you are doing it, you may not realize that you are doing something important until such a time when it comes to reality. Miriam never realized that actually her standing at a distance to watch would save the life of this boy. And the boy, God that had called to save the people of Israel from captivity. And so little things. So the Bible tells us that never despise a day of small beginnings. Never despise the moments of small beginnings. Now Miriam had an impact in here. Although it is a little di indirect, but she participated directly in the salvation story of the Jewish people to be delivered from slavery, to be delivered into the promised land. And Moses played a very huge role together, of course, with his brother Aaron, who was older. And so this is very, very important. And I call upon everyone, I call upon myself, that we need to be mindful of our little actions, little acts, which are intentional acts of mercy. If there's something that you can do to help someone find God, then do it. Because okay, Moses, if Moses had been killed, if Moses had died, if it had not been his mother, Jochebed, if it had not been this young lady, Miriam, maybe something else would have happened. Of course, okay, God would have found another way, but we are talking about Moses and on account of his sister, Miriam, and she did that. Now, the Bible does mention great things for us. You know, when I go to the book of the Lord Jesus Christ mentioning in Luke chapter 6, verse 38, there are some little things actually that we need to do. Luke chapter 6, verse 38, the Bible does mention something here that I wanted to bring to your attention. Luke chapter 6, verse 38, and the Bible says that give, give, and it will be given to you. They will power into your lap a good measure. Pressed down, shaken together, and running over. For by your standard of measure, it will be measured to you in return. Listen to me. Jesus says, give, and it will be given back to you. Now, these ladies gave. And Jesus is saying, actually promising that it will, be, it, will be, it will be pressed down, it will be flowing over. Now, Miriam did one little act of watching. But look at the whole nation of Israel being saved on her account. Okay, look at what her, her mother does as well, making a basket and saving and hiding this boy. And the Israelites were able to see God's wonderful acts because of uh, Moses, the leader. Because actually he fought for them. He, he went to Pharaoh many times. He performed very, many, many acts of love, of patience, of endurance before Pharaoh. And him doing that, it was because of the sister doing something, watching over. And so, my friends, the Bible does mention that it's more blessed to give than to receive. Now, if there is any act of mercy that you can do to someone who is insignificant, I just want to repeat, if there is something that you can do to somebody who is insignificant, you may think that this is a baby, you may think that this is a little boy, you may think that this is somebody who may not be, but God has a plan. And of course, actually, Jeremiah, when he was called, the Bible tells us actually God says, I knew you before you were born. And all of us have a stake to in each and other person's life. And so when you are blessed, be blessed to bless another person. So Miriam, a sister in the home. But of course, actually, we are well accustomed to the, the wrangles that happen in the families, especially during our generations. Sisters and brothers, people fighting, people, you know, are not moving closer together. But look at the act of Miriam, the big sister, to Moses. He ex she exhibited love. She exhibited care. And so how I call upon those who are older to take care of the younger, to help them see the glory of God. And Moses was able to see the next day because his sister Miriam played a big role. And so I just want to um, encourage us that God is calling us in this Finding God series, that when you have found God, enable another person to find him. Lead on another person. If there's an act of mercy, do it. If there's an act of kindness, do it. If there's any care, do it. And of course, this generation is full of selfishness. People look at themselves alone. But, more, but Miriam gave extra by taking another mile, 
of looking after his brother, her brother, I mean, and she stood at a distance to watch. It may be at a distance, and at a distance, maybe that little coin that you can be able to contribute to someone's welfare. When you're at a distance, she stood at a distance. She stood at a distance to watch now and watching over. The watching, not the watching of, you know, of I don't mind, but the watching of I mind, the watching of I care. Now, may God bless you and watch over you as you watch over another person with I care. And Uganda will be a better, a better place. The world will be a better place to live in when you take the act of Miriam watching at a distance, but with I care. May God bless you and watch over you as we consider the next episode that will be coming about Miriam. But she leaves a very big example, one, to the women, but also to all of us who are believers in the Lord Jesus Christ. May God bless you and watch over you and so that you stand and watch with I care in the name of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen.